In the last nine months, we've seen an explosion of AI-generated content. Should we allow AI machines to flood the internet? But there's a big problem with this. It came at the cost of unoriginality. All the content looks, feels, and sounds the same. We traded speed for staleness. And the reason is because we're all using the same AI. It's trained on the same templates and spits out the same answers. But what if you could take a pill that gave you instant access to your entire knowledge base, your deepest memories, ideas that you forgot you even had? You could learn and create truly original and inspiring content so easily. Well, what if I told you that this already exists, but it's not what you'd expect? Notion is building AI that's actually trained on my brain or your brain any individual's brain. It could potentially know us better than we know ourselves. And this changes everything. You're watching Cajun Koi. We share tips and skills to help you create your best work. So Notion Q&A just released and we've partnered with them to bring you this early look. In this video, we're gonna check out what it can do, how this is going to help us create better content in a fraction of the time, and what you should be doing right now to prepare for this revolution. Let's take a closer look at what Notion Q&A can do. Ever since I started this YouTube channel, I have been a geek over self-improvement and my note-taking system has served me well. I've consumed so many books, videos, courses, you name it. And as a creator, my goal is to synthesize what I've learned, add my personal flair to it, and create something new that would hopefully help someone else. But recently I found a big problem with my approach. You see, the more notes I have, the harder it is to keep track of everything I know. It's not like I have all my creative projects memorized and I can just recall it at will. It would take some time for me to dig back into my notes and uncover stuff. And since I've accrued thousands of notes over years of creating, it's gonna take a while. But Notion Q&A has changed all of this. Basically, I can ask a question and it'll provide me with an answer using information from anywhere in my Notion knowledge base instantly. For example, let's say I want to create a new video series for my YouTube channel. What would you say are my areas of expertise that I can talk about with authority? So Notion Q&A has scraped all my notes instantly, which is something that ChatGPT can't really do. And it gave me insights that I have expertise on study skills, time management, and focus, which are all topics that I've made videos on before. But it also says that I have expertise on marketing and building community community which are videos that I've never even thought about making. But this makes sense because I have so many notes on marketing and building community. But the cool part is that it also links me to the pages in my Notion where I can dive deeper and rediscover my knowledge on those topics. And for me, not only do I learn and create in Notion, but I also run our entire business in Notion as well, meaning that Q&A can actually understand my entire business model. So if Notion is my extended brain, then Q&A is like my assistant but an assistant that knows everything that I know. So I could ask it things like, what are my priorities with my teammates? Or what are some unanswered questions that they have? Or who on my team is feeling stuck? And what are the common questions that our team is asking? So basically helping me make sure that my team isn't stuck and we're all on the same page working together. And it's kind of pulling this from a bunch of different conversations and documents and helping me come up with a plan. So we're in this phase of individualized AI and it's really exciting. So one of my frustrations right now is how much time and effort it takes to ask AI a question. Like when it spits out an answer, I'm spending a lot of time asking follow-up questions to refine the output because my questions are either just not clear or there's not enough context. And obviously the AI can't just read my mind and know what I'm trying to ask. Most AI only know what you tell it about yourself. And that all depends on what you can even remember to tell it. But if the AI already has access to all of your knowledge, all your experiences, your memories, everything you know, and is able to make connections on all of this, then we can create content so effortlessly. This content will be original, unique, and personalized to ourselves. And with the direction that Notion is heading, we are going to have access to personalized AI straight out of the box. This means that it can instantly access my deepest knowledge, even things that I forgot I even knew, and it can uncover all of it and ask way better questions than I can. So where do we go from here? 
right? Having AI trained on you is such a superpower because you can create original and nuanced content. You can stand out from the ocean of repetitive AI generated content and do this so efficiently. But in order to reap this benefit, you have to first build out your extended brain. If we want to take advantage of AI that's trained on our brain and knows everything that we know, then we've got to give it a brain to learn. So I like to think about this process in three steps. First is to curate. Think about the type of content that you consume and design your diet intentionally. We are the average of the five people we surround ourselves with. Or more accurately nowadays, we are the average of the five content creators that we regularly consume. So think about where you wanna go and what you wanna achieve, and then think about who has already done or is doing that, and then curate your content consumption so that those creators become your mentors. Next is to consolidate. This means that every piece of content that you find that's either valuable or resonates with you from books to threads to podcasts to YouTube videos, courses, everything should be saved into a central knowledge base like Notion. And this is what Maddie and I do with our knowledge base. Since we are a creative duo, our Notion is kind of like an amalgamation of all the different content that we consume. And here you can see a sneak peek into our extended brain. We have content loosely broken into categories like learning and business, and we've even been exploring philosophy lately. And by the way, we've turned this entire workspace into a template that you can download and use for yourself. Link in description if you're interested. But the idea is that we've consolidated our content consumption into one big melting pot so that Notion Q&A can train itself on what we know and give us more tailored and specific suggestions. And third is to create. Let me ask you this. Why do we learn? Why do we bother studying at all? It's to create. Creation is the best way to learn. When we create something, we get to learn it twice, which means that our Notion AI gets two perspectives on this topic, one from the student and one from the creator. So whenever we create content, whether it's a tweet or a YouTube video like this or anything else in between, it all happens in one central location. By itself, an extended brain is a powerful tool for creativity, but imagine what you can do when you have multiple people working in the same brain. We have an entire team of creatives all contributing their unique expertise, and this extends our creativity to encompass our entire team's collective brain. It's like a mastermind of endless content with AI as the rocket fuel. But even if you don't have a team, you can still curate, consolidate, and create all in the same place. And over a long enough time, as your knowledge base grows, this would be as if you were collaborating with your past, present, and future self. If you haven't already, check out Notion Q&A. It comes included with all existing Notion AI subscriptions. You can find a link in the description. I'm pretty excited, but let me know what you think. How do you see this changing the way that we create? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.